We're here today with Vin Bruno, new CEO of Cedia in the Cedia booth at 2015. Uh, Vin, how's the show been going so far? There's a tremendous energy here. And it, I have to say that it all started with meeting you on Monday before the show even opened. I became immediately enthusiastic to meet somebody new, what I felt was new to the industry, and to know that there's uh, a good group of uh, young integrators out there doing fabulous work throughout uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So as part of our, as part of the sponsorship, we were able to establish uh, the Playbox Lounge within the food court where we have four mobile walls providing the music for people eating breakfast, lunch, and, and late snack. And also we were able to come up, Cedia, Ron, and Jen were able to come up with some out-of-box, I call it guerrilla or viral marketing type along the lines of that, to do all four sets of stairs here with the wrapping, with the Playbox and the Thanos and driving people to our booth. Is this something that, uh, this kind of out-of-the-box stuff that you want to do more of, or do you all want to stick along the lines of traditional marketing. No, no. I, I want I want to think out of the box. I brought with me to uh, our headquarters in Indianapolis a uh, small crate that I received years ago. It says fresh ideas. I never want to do the same thing twice. Four sets of stairs here, lighting up Hall F. We're very proud of it. Now we're going to go over to the booth and uh, show Vin uh, what's going to be hint hint product uh, product of the show for CDA 2015. Let's go. All right. Okay, Vin. Here we're coming upon the Thanos booth, uh, the makers of the Playbox, obviously. Um, have you been here yet? I have not been here, and I'm going to tell you right away, Tom Stoller can see uh, behind what the installation. Correctly, like. appreciate that. We wanted to be able to show the three different versions. Obviously, we, we have two versions on display. The first version of the Playbox would be the electricians or installer-friendly version, where you wire in the power source from Romex from above or below or whatever, if you have that capability or a license. Second version would be for those who don't want to touch high voltage or the DIY customer, you have the power relocation version with a male inlet down below, wire it with Romex and then plug it into a local power source. And of course the third and probably the most promising version we're thinking of is the commercial version. Coffee shops, restaurant and bar, medical offices, corporate, where we're able to have a metal junction box and use metal clad or armored wiring to meet code on a commercial level. That's outstanding. At the, at the 11th hour, we scrapped what we had planned on the last two weeks and multiple iterations of that and decided just go, just go simple, go easy. I think it's a good thing that you did that because when you have a lot of crowds coming by, they need to take a snapshot of that image. This image they'll remember. I know what this product is just by looking at it. We have here a video we shot basically giving an overview of the play box. Um, and kind of pointing out the features of it. Eventually it'll go on YouTube and social, but we cut this, the last version of this arrived uh, yesterday morning. We were able to get it up and going. Very nicely done. I, I, know, I see the complexity in this exhibit right here, and I know that it took quite a bit of an effort for you to uh, prepare it, but this communicates your message perfectly.